Hey everyone! I'm pumped that you're here. Today I have super exciting news. My video is sponsored by Cricut! I have been sent their new machine, the Cricut Joy Extra, which is this beautiful mini little Cricut. And today I have the very exciting privilege of updating some of my small business accessories and bits and bobs using this Cricut machine. And we'll get to discover the joys of this beautiful machine together. And yeah, I'm pumped. Let's get into it. Also, if I've never met before, my name is Carly. I'm a sewist and a maker here on YouTube and I am very excited that you were here. You're the best. That's all. A lot of my finishing touches for my business are made by hand and I love that but I'm really excited to see if I can maybe streamline my process a little bit more and give it a bit more of a professional touch. Today I'm working on new tags for my clothes, some thank you cards for my packaging and also some vinyl stickers. I've never worked with a Cricut machine before so we're going to be learning together but I have no doubt that this is going to be a very exciting and enjoyable experience so let's do it. Something that I noticed when I was unboxing my Cricut Joy Extra is that it feels like Cricut just want you to succeed and have fun with their product. This value pack came with a lot of different things. Granted, some of these things in this shot were extras that I got sent, but most of them came with the value pack, which means that you can open up your box and you can just get straight into a project and find success on day one, which I love. And also the setup of the machine was just really easy and intuitive. It was one plug straight into the wall. I downloaded the Cricut Design Space app and then just calibrated my machine with that app. And honestly, it was not problematic whatsoever. Yes, I am. Calibrated, apparently. Hi, this is editing Carly here. I didn't really say this at all in the clip, but I spent some time just downloading the Cricut Design Space, exploring, going on their website, doing all of their learning courses so I could just kind of figure out how to do these projects. So yeah, in between the clips of me unpacking and all of that stuff and me making a sticker, there was like a few hours of just straight exploring and learning through the Cricut Design Space. So I just had to let you know that preliminary step was unfilmed, undocumented, but it did occur. Okay, I just spent a hot second just having a play with all of that because this is just a totally new world to me. I made this little horse finger. I'm excited, this is gonna be great. All of that to say, my first project is stickers. Free stickers for my packaging. Let's go. For this project, I need my Cricut Joy Extra, obviously, and the printable waterproof sticker set. I'm going to print the design using my regular printer, and that goes straight onto this, and then I'm going to put it through the Cricut to cut the stickers for me. Hopefully it works. But first, I'm going to design the stickers. I screen recorded my process, so hopefully it would help you if you want to make your own stickers. But basically I uploaded a JPEG of a pre-designed artwork and added it to the canvas. This was an artwork my boyfriend drew for some merch we did earlier in the year. I resized it to a size I thought would make a good sticker, duplicated it, and then checked the layout on my A4 just to see how it was all sitting. Then I decided I was going to make another sticker, so I added my logo to the canvas and went into shapes and picked a circle which I thought would make a really nice sticker. Then I changed the color of my circle to a pink and made sure that it was print then cut, which is a setting that you need for the stickers. And I put my logo on top of that circle and decided it needed a little bit more. So I went into images, typed in star, which I thought would be very cute. And I picked out my favorite one of the images, but honestly, the options are wild. They have literally hundreds of thousands of images, so go crazy. But yeah, I picked this out, grouped it all together, and duplicated it a bunch before getting ready to print it. Now, I'm happy with my layout, so I'm going to click Make It and follow all of the prompts here. Looks good. Material size A4. And I'm just going to click Continue. So now I'm going to put my paper in the printer and print it there. My printable waterproof stickers pack here, and I had to do a little bit of experimentation just so I knew which way to put my paper in the printer. So I'm just gonna grab my paper that has this green check 
this is the one that we're going to print on. And for my printer, this grid needs to face up to print correctly, if I remember correctly. <laughs> It worked! Ain't that so cute? Oh! What I believe I have to do is place this sticker sheet on my light grit mat. So I'm just going to line it up how it wants me to print, which I believe is just like, I just put it in the corners. Oh, that's good. That is good. That is very, very good. All right. Now, from my waterproof sticker set, I'm going to get the other thing they give you, which is this vinyl laminate, and that's meant to go on top of the sticker. Gonna peel this, and the sticky side goes down, which makes sense. Right, 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 right. They recommend to use one of their scrapers, but I don't have one, so I'm just gonna use a good old ruler. Okay, okay, okay. And now, we're gonna peel. Wait, guys, it's quite good. Hey, that's quite good. See, that looks good. And now I'm gonna put this into my Cricut. Oh, she's ready to go. We put her in. Now it's aligning itself. I believe it's aligning. Ooh, the suspense. And then we click go. We click go. Oh my gosh, I hope it works. And what I've learned from the Cricut design space is that you're meant to peel the mat off the thing. Like not to peel your work off the mat. Peel the mat off the work. Then just like apparently, it's just, I just did it. Apparently I just did it. My stickers. Okay, okay, okay. We, I guess we stick one together. Oi, oi. That looks good. Yes. <gasps> Ay. She's going on the back of my journal along with the, the horse. What? Whoa. That's so cute. What the heck? It looks sick. Okay. Also, can I just say that design space is very intuitive. Literally from opening my Cricut up for the first time to successfully printing these stickers, it took me like two hours. It doesn't feel like long to actually get something working, you know? After making a few of my branded stickers, I simply had to go and see if I could make some just super fun and exciting sticker sheets for me and my friends. I really did love having a play on the Cricut Design Space and they have so many courses so you can learn how to do a bunch of different stuff but for my first few goes I felt like this was just fun and easy and I loved it. Like look at this horse, isn't it so adorable? And I also made it a little turtle for a friend. Time for project two! I've used two different kinds of tags as a small business owner. The first one I ordered a big batch from a company overseas and I liked them and then I didn't really want to spend $200 ordering the tags again so I made my own just recently using a lino stamp that I made and I do like this as well. But I would like an option that has more of a professional finish but still something that I can make myself at home and not have to order in large quantities. So for this project, I've purchased about one meter of this cotton tape and I want to see if I can iron on my logo onto this trim so that I can sew it into my garments like this. What I believe is that if you had a logo that had colors and design in it, you could use Cricut's printable iron-on so that way you could print your design and then iron it on, just like how I did those stickers. But hey, mine is just a black text, so I'm going to give it a crack with the Smart Iron-on Heat Transfer Vinyl in black. Hopefully that's the right move. I just printed out my logo to see if the size was appropriate. I've got my tape, I've got my logo. I think that's going to be just about perfect. My tape is about three centimeters so I've made my design about two centimeters. Hopefully that works. So what I've done in the Cricut Design space is upload my logo and shaped it 
and sized it to the size that I want. And instead of doing print and cut, we're just doing a basic cut because I'm not going to print it. I'm just, I'm just going to be cutting out of this smart iron-on. This project was really easy to achieve in the design space. I just duplicated my logo a bunch of times, ensured that they were all under the basic cut operation selection, which is up in the top left corner. And I just made sure that my Cricut knew that I was going to insert without a mat my smart vinyl iron on. And that was literally it. I also made sure it was mirrored, but that was it. Business. As I waited for my Cricut to do all of the hard work for me, cutting out my logos on this vinyl, I decided to prep my cotton strips by cutting them to the length I wanted, giving them a press with my Easy Press Mini, and then just cutting out all of my vinyls into small labels. Well, I actually did a few practice runs off camera, and I think that it likes being ironed on to cotton more than it likes being ironed onto this like very thick cotton tape. Um, it still works, I just feel like it likes it more on here. But it's the exact same process, so I'll just show you what I did. I just weeded out all of the extra vinyl from my labels, making sure I got all of the little bits in the O's and the R's and the A's. And then once it was ready, I just put it on my cotton and put it in for 30 seconds under the Easy Press Mini. Hey Google, set an alarm for 30 seconds. Once it was cool to the touch, I was able to peel off the remaining transfer and then it was done. And I just did a few more of these on some more scrap pieces of fabric to make more labels. Well, the tags went really great. I think I much prefer them on the cotton just because they look like they'll just wear a little bit better. But hey, this looks super cute too. And it's pretty exciting to me that I could customize these quite a bit, like I could change the font size, I could change the font, I could do some handwriting, I could add a little heart or a star or I don't know. There's a lot of options and it's cute. I'll be adding this to my handmade tag process, I think. It's a wonderful little DIY. Well, I've made stickers, I've made tags and I've got one more project left for you and that is a thank you card to put in my parcels. So let's do... It. Well, Cricut sent me a bunch of card making stuff, so I just want to play and explore some ideas here. I have the Cricut cutaway cards, which are sick because they come with this beautiful, like, kind of holographic card that you can put underneath the card and you can do a cool little cutaway action. Want to give these a go? They've also just sent me the insert card pack, which will be really fun to have a play with. These are a little bit smaller, which I think would be perfect. Anyway. That's everything that I have, and I'm just going to have a little bit of a fun play with this one. Let's do it! I'm just designing my thank you card now on the Cricut Design Space, and I'm just trying to find a font that has good vibes. And basically, we're going to cut away from the front of this, and we're going to stick this holographic behind it, so it's going to have this cool cutout vibe. Now, I'm not sure if I did this right, but I just did what made sense to me, which was inserting a square and making it have the exact same dimensions as the card that I had. I made it a light gray so that it would be a cute little template for my card, and I inserted some text where I wanted it and made sure that it was centered in that card display area. I changed the font, added a little heart from the images section, and made sure that they were all grouped. I then unhighlighted my template so that it wouldn't print in the next section, told Cricut that I was using my card mat, put in the right size of the card, told it I was using card stock, and then I moved my star wheels over to the side, which apparently helps so that you don't get any markings on your card. I attached my holographic card to the inside, put it on my card mat. I love how it sticks down, it's so satisfying. And then I inserted that card mat into the Cricut so that it could get to work for me, sis. Look at my son. <laughs> Oh, hey. Pride is not the word I'm looking for. That's a Hamilton reference, by the way, and that is how I felt about this card that I created with Cricut. It was very beautiful and lovely, and then I just peeled off the rest of my letters, and it was done. Why is this just, like, one of the most satisfying tasks? I love this. Hey, that actually turned out really good. It's super, super cute. So I'm going to do a few more of this, I think, in some different colours, with some different things. I'm going to say, you're the best, 
like thank you and maybe I'll do one that just says from Carly B or something like that but love and I know you're dying to know does it come with an envelope yes it comes with a perfectly fitting envelope ah oh, immense satisfaction Okay, I've got a few cards now. I've got You're the Best, I've got Thank You, and I also did one that says From Carly B. And this may be my favorite. I'm so excited about all the potential for customization now. I feel like every time someone has a birthday, I can just make them some crazy wacky little card. So all in all, we made stickers, we made new tags, and thank you cards. Oh, and I forgot to mention that I actually have a profile on the Cricut Design Space, so if you want to make one of my projects exactly the way I made it, I will upload them there for you to see. So, I got you. Thank you so much for watching. I know that this video was a little bit different, but I appreciate you being here so much. If you have a Cricut too, let me know what your favorite project is you've ever made using a Cricut because now I just feel like I want to make so many things with it. So let me know in the comments. And if you don't have a Cricut, my classic question of the week is just, what are you working on? Let me know in the comments. You know, I love to hear about it. Thank you so much Cricut for sponsoring this video. It has been an absolute joy. I love Money Machine and I can't wait to make more things for my small business. And if you're interested in getting your own Cricut Joy Extra, you can find them exclusively at Harvey Norman. Okay, that's all. Next week, I'll be back with a classic sewing tutorial. I made a Cecile Barnson inspired dress and I'm so excited to share that video with you. So stay tuned. And that's all. Thanks for being here. I hope you have a great week. See you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>